Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing my June favorites. And I wanted to just bring it back a little and do a favorites video. I love filming favorites videos. They put me in a great mood. To be honest, I'm most excited to share the music portion with you guys because I feel like I've been loving so many new songs. But we are gonna be talking about some products first. Please excuse my hair if it gets a little frizzy or if I touch it. It's hot, I can't have the AC on. I've been playing with my hair a lot because I don't want it to look crazy, but we're gonna roll it. Let's just get into it. The first product I wanna mention I got because of Amrezi, and it is the Glowtopia Oil from Diana Madison Beauty. I saw her using this, I think it was on her YouTube channel or an IGTV. She actually kept using it, and I kept seeing it in her tutorials that she's now doing. Obviously, Amrezi, her skin is fire. Her makeup is always, always on point, like not a pore in sight. So I just went ahead and ordered it. I really haven't heard too many other people talk about this. I think I've seen one other person mention this oil. It's a prickly pear seed face oil and I was a little apprehensive because I think it has a rose oil in it, like rose tip oil, which I tend to be allergic to, but I haven't had any breakouts with it, knock on wood, but it has really helped my foundation go on a lot smoother. My skin is extremely dry all year round, so I get oily, but I have dry patches. So it's like a combination skin and I love using matte foundations. So the one that I'm using right now is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm currently the shade 312. And because I love matte foundations and I have dry patches, my skin can tend to look very textured. So I've been using this oil before my foundation and it makes the world of a difference. Obviously when I'm on point with my skincare, my foundation just looks so much better if I'm drinking more water. There's a lot that goes into play when it comes to how your complexion looks and how your foundation goes on. But incorporating an oil back into my makeup routine really just reminded me how bomb my makeup used to look before. And I feel like my highlight just goes on better too. Too. like everything just glides on so much easier and I find that when I'm using an oil to apply my foundation it's best to apply with a brush for some reason the beauty blender and the oil mixture don't really go too well I feel like the beauty blender kind of picks up on the oil or something but my current favorite moisturizer is the drunk elephant proteiny it's the one with like the teal jar the greenish jar the great thing about this oil is that it's not extremely oily it's kind of on the runny side so I like that because it doesn't feel sticky or heavy on the face so I'll apply this after moisturizer I'll let it sit it for a little bit but honestly you don't really need to you can go straight into foundation but I'll do my eyebrows I'll do my eye makeup if I'm doing any and then my foundation just goes on so much better I know what you're thinking oil in the summer like how could that even work but trust me once you powder your face it's not going anywhere I've also been trying the technique where I powder my face before foundation but sometimes that can look a little bit dry on me it really just depends on what kind of skin day I'm having and speaking of powder I went back to the basics I'm back to using Ben Nye Ben powder because I got such an intense tan which it's kind of fading away my tans fade so quickly but after being in Florida for two weeks and then visiting the beach here I had acquired a pretty serious tan I love anything with a yellow undertone but especially with this tan I feel like it just complements my skin tone so beautifully and I have been baking with this and just applying it to my whole face. Also been switching up my concealers. I've been using this Cover FX Power Play Concealer in G Plus Medium 2. And what I love about this concealer is the color. So this specific shade, G Plus Medium 2, is a very yellow toned. It has this huge applicator, which I love. This is as yellow as it gets, I feel. So the G Plus line is supposed to be like an olive undertone, but because it's a lighter shade, it's not so olive. It's more on the yellow side and I have been obsessed with the shade like I just love how brightening anything with a yellow undertone is on me sometimes I'll mix these two or I'll go in with one or the other but this dose of colors concealer has also been one of my favorites this is shade 13 which is a little bit on the bright side I have a few shades I really just grab any when I'm doing my makeup it's not as drying as the Tarte shape tape but it still has that coverage so I've been loving these concealers and also the Cosas one I'm still using that but I kind of gave my Tarte shape tape a break when I do pick up Tarte shape tape again it's it's like a whole new concealer. You know when you just get into a rut of using the same things? If you stop using it and then go back to it, it feels completely new. So I wanted to mention those. I'm not gonna lie, I love warm peachy blushes year round, but especially with the warmer weather and with like a tan. Y'all know I love me a peach blush and I have been living for this Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in Coral. It's just so gorgeous. It honestly looks like it's gonna do nothing for you. It looks insane on camera. It literally looks beige which is so crazy because it's really like an apricot shade in person like that is not doing it any justice at all maybe that's more like it but 
Once you apply this on your cheeks, it just brings out the natural like peachy corally pinky tone in your cheeks and I love it. I have been using this non-stop every single time I do my makeup. I whip this out. It's the Alamar Cosmetics Colorete Blush Trio. This is the fair light one, but specifically the shades Castaway and Scorcher. These two outer shades, chef's kiss, beautiful on the cheeks. The formula is bomb. It has like a sheen to it, not a shimmer, like a sheen. Just looks very glowy on the cheeks. And these pack a punch. You know when you apply blush and you don't see it? No, you can see it with this blush. As soon as the brush hits your cheek, like you can see the color, but it's not hard to blend. So it's not like you are getting like a streak of blush. So you'll see the color and then it just effortlessly blends out. I'm not even hitting pan yet and I already want to order a backup because it's that serious. I love the Brighton and Bronze too from them. I just love their palettes. They're really, really great quality. Shout out to Gabby for killing those. Again, year round, I love me a juicy gloss. Y'all know I'm about that gloss life. I feel like in the summertime though, lip gloss doesn't last as long. Especially if you go out. I don't know. I just feel like I'm constantly reapplying lip gloss. But in the winter, it kind of just stays more intact. I don't know if it's like the cold weather just helps it stay on. But I have been loving like a thicker gloss for the summertime. And this buxom lip gloss in the shade. I don't know why I'm looking at it. I know the shade. It's Dylan. Okay, so throwback. If y'all remember, White Russian, that was like my jam. That was everybody's jam. That was like the nude lip. White Russian is still a favorite of mine but it is like a milky nudie pink and I feel like now I'm more into this kind of pinky lip so I prefer something that's a little bit more on the sheer side something a little bit more clear so it's lighter than the Fenty gloss because it's kind of like a clear with like a very light pink and some sparkle like it really just swatches pretty sheer it just gives you such a juicy pout though this is from their full-on plumping lip polish line i love that it has like a minty scent minty sour because it just makes your mouth feel really fresh like it literally feels like you have mouthwash in your mouth and you can like feel it it has like a tingly cold sensation which is awesome in the summertime like right now i'm hot but i just applied this and my lips feel cool which i really really like and of course i love that it has a little bit of a plumping factor in it it gives you the most beautiful plumpy cute juicy pout and i just love this shade dylan y'all have to try dylan you know i don't see you wrong when it comes to lip gloss y'all know i'm ride or die fancy pat mcgrath mark jacobs lip glosses but buxom this one she's up there well he because his name is dylan well dylan can be it's a unisex name so i feel like all names are unisex okay i can't believe i haven't mentioned this on my channel or maybe I have a really long time ago, but every single time I sit down to do this favorites video, I forget to bring this. I don't know how because every time I do a matte lip, this is what I use on top. So I posted a picture which I feel like you guys went crazy for. It was me eating out. I like slayed. I finessed my makeup that day. I don't know what it was, but I took my sweet time like doing my hair and my makeup and I just like beat my face to the gods. Like it was snatched and I had like a matte lip there. It was NYX London with a little bit of myth and the middle which is like my go-to and then I have this Smashbox Insta Matte on top so this is a lipstick transformer I'm pretty sure mine is expired because I've had this for way too long but they don't sell it at Sephora which I don't know why they don't I think you have to get this at Ulta now but basically you apply this with your finger or a brush over any lipstick it could be satin sheer matte and it smooths out your lips like crazy so I haven't gotten lip fillers in a really long time so my lines are kind of coming back and when you wear matte lipstick naturally they just look drier so this will just instantly like transform your lips it's literally a transformer it's really hard to tell on camera but in person you can see where you apply this because wherever you apply it it instantly turns matte but also very smooth so if you love to wear matte lipstick but you feel like they look dry i'm telling you try this because it's not like it's hydrating your lips but it's like creating this almost like a primer think of like a benefit professional texture but clear and it just creates like a film over your lips but you don't feel it, it doesn't have a scent it's it's magic it's sorcery and it will really leave your lips looking so gorgeous just smooth and like pouty this on top of a nude or any color it could be red because it's clear so it goes on top of anything anytime i'm wearing a matte lip this is going on top so i had to mention it i'm like let me whip that out before i do another favorites video and not feature that because i'm obsessed smashbox i'm gonna need y'all to carry this at sephora because everyone needs to know about this okay i have been picking up my estee lauder heat wave up again and i just am blown away like every time i use this i'm like why do i stop using you 
I have a ton of gold highlights and I love them all but this formula is so good so this is like the newer packaging remember when heatwave was everything like it was like sold out it was so hard to get your hands on it's for a reason this formula is just so smooth it's like a jelly highlight and it is gold like this leaves you the most gorgeous golden glow and I love it of course it's what I have on right now I just have been obsessed with this. You guys know I mix my highlights. I like to wear like two, three highlights at a time, but I can get away with just using this one, especially with my tan. It's like the perfect golden tone. Okay, this is also like a throwback Rosita product. If you've been watching me, then you have heard me talk about this. This was probably featured in all of my hygiene routine videos, but this specific scent though. So this is the Tree Hut Shea, Shea, Shea Sugar Scrub. I'm trying to say that three times really quickly. Shea Sugar Scrub in exotic bloom it's the blue one and i ordered this on ulta without smelling it which is so unlike me i like to smell things before i buy them but obviously with covid we couldn't go out and buy things in store we couldn't smell them so i just took a chance because of the name and i don't know i just read the description exotic bloom floral i was like what can go wrong this smells so amazing like it smells good when you smell it but when you actually are using it in the shower done such an amazing floral scent this is like the epitome of a feminine floral scent but it's not like a powdery floral or like a rose floral it's just like a tropical exotic bloom like the name suggests it has shea butter, hemp seed, and lavender oil. Not only does it smell amazing, but it also does a great job at exfoliating your body. So this is a sugar scrub. I love sugar scrubs personally. And of course you can make your own scrub at home, but I think this is around $5. Smells amazing, does a great job. I feel like with that price, you really just can't beat it. Cute packaging, very convenient. It's a tub, I just scooped some up. My legs had been peeling from the extreme tan that I got. And after a couple of exfoliating sessions, my legs were in a lot better condition they were feeling really really badly and I'm terrible at remembering to put on lotion so an exfoliator is like my best friend and I feel like while I'm in the shower I love to just scrub away all of my problems <laughs> and I had to put you guys on exotic bloom it's short sweater so get it together and exfoliate them legs especially them ankles you know I definitely need it too and it just will make your skin smoother your lotion will go on better life is just good when you exfoliate so definitely had to mention that as far as perfumes go i really just have been putting on anything but i feel like ever since i got this bottle i've been reaching for it more i don't know if it's just because it's a new bottle so this is yves saint laurent black opium neon to me it's actually really really similar to the original black opium it's supposed to have more of like a coffee twist and some people describe it as having like a licorice scent. It's just a very sweet, like edible scent. Like you just want to eat it up. It's a pinch less musky than the original. And I just love the pink on this one. So I've been reaching for black opium a lot, especially in the daytime when I just want to smell like feminine, sweet, girly, and just yummy. And then of course, Creed Silver Mountain Water. I mean, I mention this probably every month and I'm never going to stop mentioning it. It's a unisex scent. This smells like rich clean amazingness i literally feel like a different person when i put this on and i don't think i'll ever get over it this and baccarat are just like my go-to's and if you've ever smelled me chances are i have a little bit of the creed on no matter what i use i just always sneak in like one creed especially if i want to like show out or if i know i'm gonna like see people and they're gonna hug me and smell me definitely put on a little bit of creed every single time it's just like my little secret touch so i have a love-hate relationship with these sandals more love than hate they are dangerous because you literally can like slip and slide in them and they make so much noise when going up and down the stairs. I call them the clickety-clack sandals, but they're gorgeous on the feet. So I am obsessed with these and every time I post them, I get questions on Instagram. Aren't they so gorgeous? They're so glam and so girly and they go with so much. So anytime I'm wearing like white or beige, I love wearing these and they just glam up any outfit. I love wearing these with shorts or with a dress. They're from Aldo. I think the name is called Catalina. Lena, but I'll of course have a link for you guys and they're not uncomfortable for me They just are really loud. I have these in black and I don't have the grips on those I have the grips on these but I slipped really badly wearing the black ones I fell down some stairs and had like the hugest bruise on my elbow for a really long time So I got the grip for these and <laughs> they do sell the grips at Aldo and I go up half a size with these So normally I'm a six but I wear six and a half in these they do have a wide version of them These are the normal version. I've worn these on the black ones 
those for hours. I mean, after about four or five hours, your feet will start to hurt because they are quite flat and a little bit stiff, but they are gorgeous on your feet. They just shine so beautifully. And like I said, they just kind of like spice up an outfit and glam it up and make you look extra girly. And I love that. These with white toenail polish or like a nudie pink or just like a pink nail polish on the toes. Super cute and so me. So had to mention those. This is quite random, but I am obsessed with the Poland Spring Strawberry flavor. Originally, it was called Summer Strawberry, but now this one just says with a twist of strawberry. I had to buy this on Walmart because I bought my first case at Target and now they don't have the strawberry scent any scent. They don't have the strawberry flavor anymore there. They have like a peach and some other ones, but the strawberry, if you see this, give it a try. I'm really picky about my flavored water. Like, you know that aftertaste when you drink certain sparkling water or flavored water, it just tastes weird. Very like diet, no sugar tasting. I don't like those. This has zero calories. It tastes like real strawberry. It doesn't taste synthetic. A lot of the sparkling waters that I try just taste not good. So definitely had to shout out the Poland Spring Strawberry. And I have one cleaning product for you guys. This is from Mr. Clean. This is the Clean Freak Deep Cleaning Mist. If ever there were a cleaning product with my name on it, it would be this one, Clean Freak. But I have tried the pink, the purple, and this green one. And I really like this green one. It says with original gain scent. This smells like a straight up laundry mat. It smells like clean laundry. Usually I would spray things here, but this, so when you hold it down, it just continuously mists and sprays. So let's say you're doing your counter, you just have to hold the gun down once and it just like continuously leaves a spray. So when you're cleaning like your toilet or a counter, like you just continuously pump and like a lot of product comes out and then you could just wipe it with a microfiber cloth. You can use paper towels. These scents are all amazing. I do like the pink and the purple and they do a really great job at cleaning. So if you have something that's like a little bit harder to get off, I know this is not like a natural or an organic product, but sometimes you just need the little extra tough power of Mr. Clean. Like he knows what he's doing like he looks like he knows what he's doing and I wanted to shout out this scent because I've been enjoying my house just smell like fresh clean laundry now let's get into my favorite part probably your favorite part or maybe not either way let's get into the music favorites connected to roses I found <laughs> They know me cause I'm coming up Make through mine for a little You should let me break your spine just a little Got your shorty on my pistol I heard that you're freaky Baby, you should teach me
Bye, guys.